There's a lot to like with this digital voice recorder, but mostly it's about privacy. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Oasis R1 digital voice recorder and it's a pretty cool little device. As you can see, it is small. There's a built-in microphone on the top. There are buttons on both sides if you're a button person, but it also has a color touch screen so you can also interact with it that way. Lots of nice options. What makes this really notable is not only does it do a remarkable job of recording voices, even in noisy environments, but it has built-in onboard, no connection needed speech to text transcripts. And it can do those in six different languages, English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Polish. Now, why is that such a big deal? Because what you don't want, if you have, for example, you're working with a client or a patient and you have a recording and you want a transcript, well, you don't want to send that up to the cloud or up to some data service because you don't know what happens to that data. You don't know if they keep it for training AI or whatever. This is all onboard, no connection. Not only is it no connection needed, it literally can't connect to the internet. So that's really, really a great feature in my opinion. Now, it can be voice activated. You can have scheduled recordings. When you turn on for recording, you can actually turn off the screen so it's very subtle. It has the built-in microphone, but on the side, it actually has the ability for you to plug in an external physical microphone. So if you have a 3.5 millimeter mic connection, or you can use a Bluetooth microphone or speakers. So you could use it for playback using Bluetooth on a separate speaker does have a tiny little built-in speaker that's pretty good. Um, Storage-wise, it comes with a 64 gig SD card and then it actually has the ability to go up to one terabyte of storage, also has eight gig on-device storage. So that is an enormous amount of data space for voice recordings. They don't take a lot of space. So I've been experimenting with this. I went to a meeting last night where we were outdoors and there was music in the background as long as, you know, as well as environmental noise and other people talking. And I just put this on a table, didn't make a big deal out of it and just pushed record. And I'll show you in a couple of minutes exactly how that worked out, but it was remarkable. It worked really well. So touch screen or buttons, then on the side, there's USB-C, both for charging and for connecting to computers. And that's my preferred way of accessing all of this. And again, I'll show you that in just a second. And let's see, so it has five different modes that you can see here on the front, and they are general, interview, meeting, lecture, and pocket recording modes. And they are different in terms of like their um, noise cancellation in the background and the ability to pull voices out of a noisy environment. So I used meeting when I was outside last night. And again, you'll see, or you'll hear, I should say, it worked really well. So in terms of the battery, it's an 1100 milliamp hour battery that they say can give you around 25 hours of use. And I think it's less time if you're using that transcript feature, because you can also just use it to record audio and do nothing else. And then it's just an audio recorder and that will give you more battery time, but it's kind of cool to have that transcript. It's a really nice feature. If you don't want any random person to pick it up and start looking through all your recordings, you can set up a security pin. And by the way, on the front here, if I just swipe to the left, then this is a list of all of the recordings that I've made and I will just demo one. So let's just tap on one and let's see, what did I do? I think I turned the volume down. Have the translation on the speech to text. So this is actually something I'm going to demo in a second. Trans so notice you can view it sideways if you want the text to be a little bigger and you can actually go into settings and make the text even bigger. But what I want to do is I want to give you a couple of demos. So first off, let's get this front and center and let me show you some of its features and then we'll jump onto the computer. We'll pull off a transcript and we'll see what that looks like and how to clean that up a little bit more. Then I'll jump back on camera. As you can see, the touchscreen is bright and vivid, it's super easy to get to things like settings or to go back. And if you swipe to the right, 
then you actually get all of your recordings. So you can go back and you can listen to the recording, you can read the transcript if you've turned that on, and you can actually delete them, whatever you need. Now, I tend to actually access these by plugging this into my computer, and I'll show you that in just a second. But for now, let's go back, and I'm gonna turn on a recording, and we're just gonna do a general recording, because I want you to see how easy it is to work with. So I'm gonna do general, and it's now recording, and since I have the translation on, the speech to text, then it will now actually start showing me the transcript. Now, you'll notice it's not entirely up to speed here with the transcript, but that's okay because it does catch up eventually, so you can just ignore it. In fact, you could actually blank the screen, and I'll do that by just pushing that screen button down. And so it's still recording. And not only that, but you see that red light on the top, you can turn that off in the settings. So you could actually have it be recording and generating a transcript and it looks like it's turned off. Now let's get that screen back on. And I'm just gonna stop it by pressing save. And so now you can see that it's saving it to the SD card. Sounds good. And voice recognition is not complete. Eh, let's wait until it finishes that up. So it'll keep chugging along for a couple of seconds. But now what I want to do is I want to actually plug it into my computer so you can see that part of the demo. So let's switch things around. When I plug it into my Mac, I actually see two devices. One that is the recorder itself and that gives you access to the internal storage. But then there's also flash device, which is the SD card. And you'll recall that the recordings I've been making have been onto the external device. So if I go to general, default, so here are three recordings I've made, but let's go back to meeting and default. And so here there's the AAC and we can just listen to some of it. Let's hear how that sounds. Maybe Phil and I will be in separate groups and we're going to do a make a transcript of so, the circles of the introductions. So you can hear pretty noisy environment, but then we go to the text and the text shows you it's actually pretty useful, but I will note that there's a lot of these little time marks in here and that makes it really difficult to read. So this is where AI is a great help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open it. Let's just, um, let's see, I'm going to open ChatGPT and then in ChatGPT I can upload a file. So we'll upload this file. I have to find it. Let's see. So we're on Flash Dev, My Recordings, Meeting, Default, Date, and Text. So we have that and now I'm going to have a prompt that says remove all the timestamps and other info surrounded by brackets and do your best to turn this into proper and well formatted dialogue between a number of speakers. Remove any ums and ahs and clean up basic grammar problems. List the results here. You ready? So now it's going to actually think about it. It's going to read through that text and try to figure out what's going on here. And then finally, in just a second or two, this becomes a much more readable, much more useful transcript. And so with this, I can now scroll down and see what's going on. And it becomes really kind of a game changer to be able to get this quality of a transcript from a meeting. And again, this was held outdoors. Now, let me jump back and so we can talk a little bit more about this device. If I sound enthused about this product, it's because I am. It really is impressive when you're using it in the field. So in your office, if you want to take voice memos because you're thinking about a book you want to write or maybe ideas for the next product you want to develop, or if you're using it for interviews or you're talking to patients, or you're just in a group meeting and you want to be able to record, it's really impressive. And when I was in that meeting last night, I actually had it sitting on the table 
and some of the speakers were at least 15 feet away and they were just talking in a normal volume that you would use for a large group. So it really, I was very impressed. It did a great job and that transcript of course is very, very helpful. So not much else to tell you. Let's do a quick tour of all the buttons and I'll tell you on the left side you have record, previous, play and pause, next, volume up, volume down, and that T mark button that lets you mark important spots during the recording when you're either recording it or during playback. On the right hand side you have a 3.5 millimeter jack for earphones or a microphone, the SD slot, the lock and power slider, and USB-C for charging and data transfer. Not much else to cover at this point. I will say that in the box is a user manual. It's pretty small and pretty skinny, but you can sort of go through it. It's pretty easy to use. And there's a USB-A to USB-C cable, and that's about everything. It's really one to check out. If you really want to have a secure and private digital recording device that also can do transcripts, this is a really good option. How good are the transcripts? They're pretty darn good. Of course, they're always going to be better if someone's speaking clearly and there's less background noise and that's going to make a huge difference. So if two people are arguing and then they are like talking simultaneously or something, that's going to be really hard for any transcript or any speech to text system. But if you're just talking like I am right now, it would absolutely nail all the words. So. That's everything I got. I think this is definitely one to check out. So we do need to talk price. Before we get there, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit the uh, bell icon for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you found this of value. Excellent. Now this, let me swipe over. This is the Oasis R1 digital voice recorder and it's $99.99 currently discounted down to $63.99 at Amazon.com. That's a pretty darn good price. This is not something that everyone's going to need, but if you have the desire to record things and you want to have all of these features, then this is definitely something to consider and it's much less intimidating than having a phone sitting between two people because you don't know what the heck software they're running. So this makes this nice, easy, and it's real easy to work with. So. That's everything I got. Hope to catch you in my next video.